This is going to be a video on how I bought my first investment property in BC. My name is Devin. I'm a realtor in Vancouver. I do the Fraser Valley. I even go out to Chilliwack sometimes. Um, and yes, I was looking for my first investment property. Um, you might have remembered before I bought a condo and sold it really quickly in Coquillum from a pre-sale. This was specifically for an investment property, getting a tenant in there, getting some income from rent. Um, and yeah, this is a little quick story. I was obviously on the hunt, you know, start of 2024, maybe even like December 2023. Um, I went out to Maple Ridge. We looked at some in Langley. I went out to Surrey, um, even Abbotsford, but I couldn't find the quite find the right deal for me um, until I stumbled upon a listing out in Chilliwack. So about an hour and a bit drive out there. Um, but I made the commute. Never would I ever thought I would be buying something in Chilliwack. Um, I thought even Langley was quite far, you know, it's a half an hour drive. Um, but yeah, the prices in Chilliwack, still great deal. So you're getting decent rent. So I found this one bedroom and I'm going to show you some photos above. The, this is a one bedroom, one bath, 565-ish square foot apartment built in 2009. Um, it is on the second floor. There's going to be no photos, but there is a, um, a uh, view of the courtyard. It's a beautiful view. It's not facing first road, um, so not, no facing anything like that. There's no homelessness. Um, it's actually in a good area, not close to the railroad tracks. So I thought this property would be a great deal, so I made the commute out there and I took a look. The property was tenanted, so it didn't show very well. You know, the tenant wasn't like cleaning up beautifully for anyone to do a showing. So, which is good because I was looking for that type of property, you know, obviously to get the best deal, some things are not gonna go, you know, super smooth and super clean and everything all fancy. Um, so I know what I was getting myself into. Um, tenant ended up being really nice and anything and they are paying market rent. So I was happy about that. Um, so yeah, crunched the numbers, made an offer, and luckily I did get that accepted. Uh, but a few things I want you to know before um, actually getting that offer in. Um, I made sure my financing was in place um, prior. Um, I did that actually a few weeks just in case, and I obviously had to get an appraisal done. Number two, I got an inspection. It was built in 2009. It had a few little minor defects, but nothing you can't fix. Uh, and number three, I read the strata documents. Obviously, you want to do that before. If there's any problems with the building, insurance, uh, maybe even just reading through the minutes and you know you got some noisy neighbors above or below you, it's just good to know how the overall strata is doing. So now for the meat and potatoes of the video, what do I look for when buying an investment property? So I got five things that kind of quickly stand out to me that I can think of. Number one is location. Um, we want to be in a decent location. You don't want it to be outside where the homeless people are or there's problems. Um, and you probably don't want to back on a train tracks or anything like that. Or even if like an area smells bad or higher crime. So you want to obviously pick a good location. Um, number two would be the rent price. Especially if you were going to be um, buying as an investor. You want to know how much rent you're getting now. How much to expect to get in the future. Um, you also want to know how much of the rent covers your mortgage. Luckily, because I bought it in Chilliwack, um, I was able to put a higher down payment. So not only can my rent, rent cover my mortgage, it could also cover my strata fees and my uh, insurance. Uh, it didn't cover um, my property tax for the year, um, but I expect in a few years when the rent goes up, it'll make up for that. Uh, and number three, did I buy at the market price or did I get a little bit of a deal and buy it below market value? In my opinion, because this was a tenanted property, not marketed to its full potential, I got the property at a bit of a discount. Uh, I've seen a few units that have sold in the same building within the last one to two years that sold about thirty to forty thousand dollars more. Of course, I did buy in January, um, where there wasn't a lot of property on the market. Um, interest rates are high, um, but I do believe that for the price per square foot, the sales. Um, any active listings, I did get a great price. Number four is growth rate. Now growth rate means a few different things. Number one, it means investment rate. Like how much do I think the property is going to go up in value each year or over a five, 10 year timeline? You want to have an idea. Um, number two is rent wise. Are we able to grow our rent potential income from the property? Um, if it's rented for 1500, and we're allowed to increase rent 3% next year. You wanna know those numbers. Um, and then a big one obviously is people-wise. 
um, are people moving to Chilliwack? And surprisingly, lots of people have been moving out from Vancouver, you know, greater Vancouver, out to the to the WAC, guys, I call it, uh, just because rent and real estate is cheaper. So I do believe that the area itself is growing. Um, I did, luckily got a property very close to District 1881, which is a very popular place right now in Chilliwack, really beautiful. Um, but my last one is number five, least important in my opinion, is interest rates. Um, what you can get obviously is very important. I locked into a two-year term because I think rent, or sorry, the interest rates are going to be going down uh, in the next two years. Um, it will obviously impact uh, the mortgage, so that's why I always say, you know, buy the house and date the date the mortgage, date the term. Um, so you want to make sure that you get a good piece of property and then worry about that mortgage afterwards and the rate because you can always refinance. Anyways, that is my first experience buying an investment property. I just wanted to let everybody know. Thank you so much for watching. I can go definitely into more detail, but just wanted to get that out there. So if you are on the sidelines thinking to buy an investment property, now would be a great time to dive in or guess, at least get some research together um, so you are ready to pull the trigger and have all your info. Thank you.